Hey everyone, I'm David, a professional photographer, and Hello. it's graduation season right now, and I've been getting asked a lot of questions about how to pose for your senior photos. So in this video, I'm gonna be going over just that and teaching you how to pose for your senior photos. However, this isn't just for high school seniors, it will apply to anyone who wants to learn more about posing, so keep watching if you wanna do more of that. You see, the thing is, there's no set poses for high school senior photos because I want you to pose for your body and the mood and not for the event. Remember, posing should do two things for you. Help create beautiful and flattering shapes and communicate body language and mood. I talk more about this idea in my how to never run out of poses video. So if you want to learn more about this concept, definitely check that video out. Now to expand on what I said about posing for your body and the mood that you want to communicate, just because you titled your photo shoot senior photos doesn't change the body that you have. However, what it might change is the mood that you want to communicate. Perhaps you're really happy and you're trying to convey that kind of emotion. So you're having your arms up and smiling and laughing. But a lot of my senior clients come to me for that editorial Vogue look to make them feel like an absolute badass. So with my high school senior clients, we'll be doing a lot of dramatic poses like, oh my gosh, life is so hard with all this glam. However, another thing to consider that is unique to just senior photos is that these photos aren't just for the seniors, they're also for the parents. And what I hear a lot from my high school senior parents is, whoa, Jay, you look too old. You need to smile and laugh more in your photos. And then the high school senior is like, mom, that's like, that's too cheesy. I want to be cool. Uh, <laughs> this guy literally just said, you. Yeah. We might just have to go with this guy dark. I might need to change the ball, but we're gonna keep the show going. So if you're a senior watching this, definitely think about your parents too and add some smiling and laughing ones as much as you want to be cool and badass and editorial and Vogue-like. Now let's actually talk about posing and how to pose for the mood that you're trying to convey. I personally draw a lot of my posing inspiration. Oh. <laughs> Okay. I personally draw a lot of my posing inspiration for moods from clothing and location. For example, if I'm wearing a dark outfit with grungy accessories, I want to make sure I match that mood and pose cohesively. On the contrary, if I'm wearing a lighter colored suit showing some skin with flowers as props, I want to pose in a softer and maybe even an ethereal way. Now I'll be showing you real life examples of me doing this and demonstrating this with an actual high school senior and I'll be breaking up the rest of this video into three parts showing three different poses for three different moods. First is going to be editorial, modern, and cool. Second will be warm, flowery, and airy. Third is going to be cool, blogger-esque. So let's get to it. My beautiful, beautiful model today, Shafira. You're graduating in a couple of weeks. What are some words that you can think of when you wear this outfit? Happy, elegant, smart. <laughs> yes. So with that being said, let's get to the photo shoot. Yay! Now the first pose to convey modern smart and elegance, we're gonna start on the wall and I'm gonna show you two variations of that. Leaning poses are one of my favorites to do and show to my clients and models because it's so easy to do as it really relaxes you into the pose. Let's kind of go for a casual lean for now. I'll walk you through that too. For the first wall lean variation, we go for a very simple lean to start with. Kick the hip out a little bit away from the wall and lean into the wall. I guide her through natural hand placements from grabbing the jacket button to grabbing her fingers in the front. I don't want anything too abstract when it comes to portraying smart. But if you know me, you know I love putting an editorial and magazine as twist to my portraits. I don't want these to look too traditional of a LinkedIn headshot kind of vibe. No. These are some cool ass mother flipping high school senior portraits. Something you can do is stand further away from the wall and lean with your shoulder. Lean with it, rock right, that, lean with it. Now what makes this have that fashion look is the fact that we don't do this on the everyday. We don't just go to a wall and lean like this. A lot of fashion poses are meant to be striking so it captures the viewer's attention. So doing an exaggerated move like this uh, is what gives that fashion look. From here, we can go for an earring touch, a belt loop, or a jacket hold again. Now onto two sitting pose variations. If you're wearing a cool modern look like Safara is wearing, then it might be a good idea to be shooting in the city. And if you are shooting in a city, most likely you're gonna see a flight of stairs. And one of my favorite things to do with a modern look like this is to give it a strong masculine look. And the first thing we're gonna do is sit wide length. You can go for various leans forward while keeping your chest forward. Opening up your energy towards the camera is what gives off a commanding, badass energy. You can also very easily turn this around and make it a softer look by turning to the side slightly and doing a leg crossover instead. As you turn our energy away from the camera, we have a softer look. Turning to the side can also tend to have a slimming effect, so play around with this and see if it works to your benefit. 
The third pose we do here is another fashion look. For this, you want to bring your camera down and angle it up. Go for a wide stance with one foot higher than the other and kick that booty out. Having one foot higher will let you kick that booty out even more. Simple hand placement on your leg and go for a lean over the camera and BAM! Have fun with the hand placement for the other hand. And the last pose for this look that I absolutely love. This one is straying a little bit away from that badass editorial energy and going to conveying a soft elegance. A little turn to the side, hip up to the back, hands together and work that shoulder. And remember to always work the different head tilts. Look at how different of a move these two different tilts are. Now moving on to the second look. With a look that is more casual, soft, and summery, I want to show you two poses that you can do to convey this mood. A lot of this will be about creating soft lines and turning that body energy to the sides of the camera. Imagine cosplaying Poison Ivy but without the cunningness. For the first pose, especially if you're in a park like we are, we can utilize the grass and possibly even the flowers around you. We're going to take a seat and lean onto one arm while bringing our legs to one side. Next, we're going to go from sitting on both of our butt cheeks to our hip, kind of like a mermaid. This is going to help us shape our hip when sitting down since we can't just kick it out like when we're standing up. Roll forward onto your hip side and play around with your hands. For the second pose, we're going to use a flower as our prop. Whether it's from a bush of flowers or you're just holding the flower that you brought along. Turn sideways 15 degrees and kick your hip out away from the camera. Kick that booty back a little and hold onto that flower like it's a delicate creature and you're snow white. This means no sharp angles like sorority girls, but also no flat lines just like this. We want very soft angles like that. Work that shoulder and a different tilt and you got it. Alright, so on to our last look. Our last look is a fun one. It's a lovely dress with a sophisticated pattern. The thigh highs add a touch of chic as well. We found this lovely Spanish vibe architecture and all of this combined together gave this kind of cool blogger-esque kind of vibe. So for this outfit, I worked on conveying sophistication, elegance, and cool and chic. For all of these poses, we're going to be utilizing a flight of steps. So definitely find a flight of steps again. For the first pose, we're going to take one step down from the flight of stairs as if we're walking down. Cross the knee over from the back leg, kick the hip out, hold onto the railing with one hand. And if you have a handbag as a prop, you have a couple variations available for you. Second pose, we're going to stay in the same spot as the first pose. We're just going to turn around and then go up this time. Bring your one foot up the step and kick that hip out. With one hand on the railing, go for a fun turn around towards the camera. Really feel like you're in a shampoo commercial for this one. For your other hand, you can play with your hair or even fix your sunglasses. Third pose, we're going to take a seat on the step. We're going to turn to the side. And this is going to be great if you want to show off some legs. Go for a little crossover and bring the knee up. We also want to make sure the bottom leg is relaxed just a tiny bit at the knee. Go for a lean over with a slight grab onto your shin. Work that shoulder and work them different tilts, baby. Fourth pose, we're going to use a railing and go for a big lean. This is a fun one and we always tend to forget about the natural posing tools for leans like this. Use your hand to lean your chin on, but it's important not to place all your weight onto your hand as you don't want to squish your chin. There you have it everyone, we went over 12 high school, high school senior poses that you can use for your senior photos or again, literally anywhere you go, whether you want to take an OOTD photo, whether you want to shoot for a magazine, whatever you want to do, these poses are available to you. Analyze what you're wearing, analyze the scenery, and what kind of mood you're in, what kind of mood you want to get into to communicate and create art. If you love this video, you might want to check out my latest video of me giving a makeover photo shoot for my assistant who just turned 23. It was her birthday makeover photo shoot. And you get to see how I pose her in these videos as well. So definitely check that out over here. Alright you lovely people, hope you love this video. Definitely hit the thumbs up and subscribe and comment below for the algorithm. <laughs> and I'll see you next week. Please stay fabulous.